In March of this year, on the 20th anniversary of Getty Images, I announced that I would step up to the role of chairman and that we would be appointing a new CEO. After 20 years at the helm of the company that I founded with my good friend, Mark Getty, I felt the time was right to bring in an executive with a different background and broad media and consumer experience to lead Getty Images in the next phase of growth, innovation, and industry leadership. Today, I'm delighted to announce that we have appointed Dawn Airy to be our next CEO. Welcome to Getty Images, Dawn. What attracted you to Getty Images? This is a company where it's done extraordinary things already, but the digital world is giving us so much more opportunity to commercialize what you have um, and to be far more consumer focused than we have been to date. So you think we can, we can engage consumers and monetize our imagery? Getty is always going to be top of mind. The sheer volume of traffic that we have as a business yeah. lends itself to being able to monetize. If we have one view of the, not even customers, but just the traffic that is coming to us, that is hugely valuable and the insights that we gain from those users. People are interested and curious uh, in pictures and I think the, the, the challenge and the opportunity we have mm -hmm. is how do we engage even more with the customer? How do we start leading the conversation? How do we get more and more uh, views and search which is because people want to discover the, right. the, the content. Dawn, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about a part of the business that's dear to me. Now, the whole business is dear to me, but there's a part of our business which is very dear to me, and that's our new sports and entertainment business. When we decided to set this up in the late 90s, uh, we were told by all the experts that it made absolutely no sense at all because there's Reuters and there's AP and who needs more people to cover news. But in typical Getty Images way, we did it in a different way. And now we lead globally in news, sport, and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, our brand has become far better known than if we were just licensing images to ad agencies or media companies. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the fact that we have this photojournalism business which shows conflicts, and on the other hand, we have a sort of, you know, not so serious entertainment business when we can tell you what Taylor Swift's earrings were <laughs> at the Oscars. And of course, in addition to that, um, we have the, the best sports business. I mean, I guess coming from where you're coming from, it must be quite attractive. Hugely attractive. And actually it's sort of, it's part, like you say, it's part of the heart of the business. You could argue it's a really, really critical part of the DNA. It makes us different. Other businesses don't do that. And it's part of that full service that, that we can provide. And I think in any business, you want things that you do that's better than anybody else, that you, that you own, that uh, you provide a service of extraordinary quality. And also for me, it's important because it is important. Those images are important. They can change outcomes. They can change one's appraisal of situations. Um, and actually, I've always sought in the business I've worked for, for, for the businesses to have a bit of a higher purpose for what they do. It's not just about making money, but it's about making a difference. So all of those wonderful staff photographers that we have are priceless. Those mm -hmm. are people you've got to protect, mm -hmm. you want to nurture, you want to get them to do their best work for us. And at the end of the day, the thing that sets Getty apart from any other business is the fact they, their photographers are the best in the world. But there has to be a higher purpose. Yeah. And uh, you know, we do believe pictures can and will and do change the world. So you can carry that mantle and I know you'll be a passionate supporter of be. that. I promise. I know you'll beat me up otherwise. <laughs> I, I'm too frightened. <laughs> <laughs>